Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the homestead. Today, we're talking about quail. What's the plan for the quail for the spring and for the summer? Well, I'm glad you asked because I might tell you in this video. Um, and what, oh, you do, there are a few out here. You can probably barely see them. Let's check on them. Oh yeah, ooh, yeah there, it's raining a little bit. She's sticking her head up like, what? Yeah, I have a light on the camera, so it might seem a little bit bright for her. She's like, what in the world's going on up here? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. This is what happens. You start talking to your birds. Oh my gosh. And if videos about quail, chickens, gardening, homesteading in general interest you, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We're releasing videos on a much more regular basis now that we're headed into spring and summer. So one of the first things I want to do, once it starts getting above freezing on a regular basis, is add back in the automatic watering system. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so annoying to have to water them manually. Before I had an automatic watering system, hanging up here oh, this nail over here that you can't see and uh, it fed down into this tube. it's a bucket that feeds into this tube that goes into these uh, watering cups um, I did have three chopped one off because the end one was leaking didn't feel like trying to fix it I don't know what's gonna be the situation here because I did leave it up a little bit when it was freezing last year so I don't know if I might have some leaks just from water expanding and contracting when it freezes so that's the number one thing I want to get done to these birds once it gets warmer outside Relax, everybody. Okay, getting a little feisty. Um, I got a situation because the water's leaking down somewhere, and I, it, what happens is it gets compacted in here. Like, it's as hard as a rock. And that's part of the reason why I took out, uh, took off the light, because I don't want them laying eggs in here, and I can't even get them out because they're stuck in the wet sand. Um, the left side seems to be staying dry, so somewhere on this right side, there's water leaking down. And so I might just put tape up along the sides, um, with like a, a line of a marker to see where it started like if it gets wet I'm not in the camera if it gets wet it starts to bleed down um, I don't know if that'll work I would think that's kind of a cheap simple way to find it um, but yeah I need to fix the leak that is on this hutch because I don't want my birds getting wet um, I actually had one that just died on me um, earlier today actually I, I saw it when I was getting ready to do this video um, and uh, she wasn't looking good a few days ago. Um, she got wet, and she looks like she might have prolapsed laying an egg. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. But really, that's the first bird that I've lost technically all winter. Um, and you know, I don't I don't know if the cold had anything to do with it. They're pretty hardy. We've come out here. We came out the one morning when it was zero degrees out, and the quail were sitting out here just enjoying life. I'm like, what are y'all doing? Get in here and get out of the wind. But they do their own thing. Um, so that's something that needs to be done. We need to get this better waterproofed, make sure water isn't getting in here. Um, that way they have a, definitely a place they can stay dry. And so last year I hatched out some quail. Um, I hatched out like 30 or so and then um, raised them up, uh, brooded them in the shed. I'm in a little brooder. Probably going to transfer and transform what the chickens are in now and turn that into a brooder. Um, that way I don't have to use those dinky little box things that I made and um, what it, what I did with those quail is some of them are still here they're intermixed within with the ones that I originally bought as adults and then uh, we butchered some of them and I'm still looking for a good quail recipe so if you have one let me know down in the comments below the first time I tried it cooked it too long got too tough and I did not let it sit and soak in salt water long enough it was gamey it was tough the second time I did it was as tough, but still had a gamey taste. And I understand like quail is more of a game bird, but you know, I've heard people say, oh, I've cooked quail and it doesn't taste like game bird at all. Like it tastes great. And so I'm looking for a good recipe because I don't want to grow out a bunch of quail and hatch a bunch out that I have nothing to do with. <laughs> and like I'm stuck with 30 birds and like, I don't, I'm pretty much maxed out for this hutch. I think I have 24 in here. I think you can have, I got to double check my numbers. I think I can have up to 30 or so. 30, uh, 35, but I don't want to pow a bunch of birds in here. And I do have this other hutch over here that I can use, but it needs repairs because it was a real quick job just to separate some boys that were having an issue. Um, so I do want to hatch out more quail this year though, but I want to make sure I have a use for them first. I don't want to waste birds um, or just like set them loose in the wild because they'll die probably on day one. They're so domesticated that they don't know how to do really anything on their own. Um, I'm sure they could forage a little bit, but they just... Yeah, they wouldn't do well by themselves in the wild. So I don't know if I'm going to get any more types of quail. I know that there's different, like Texas A&M 
and there are you know different colors of turnix and there's white quail um, and I, I'm not going to get any other breeds like button quail or bob white or anything. It would be different variants of the Coturnix breed. But I don't know if I'm going to do that this year. Um, just because this year I'm focusing a lot on chicken projects and expanding that. Because um, I only have 10 chickens and I want to get more. And so we need to build another place for them to stay. Um, I do have this other hutch that I could use for other quail, but it doesn't have a roof. Um, and so they're definitely open to the elements. And... Uh, well, it has a roof. It's just a plastic roof. It's not like a, a hard roof to really wash away things. But I don't really want to add like a bunch of birds. They're all sitting together over here. I don't want to add a bunch of new birds to this flock as adults. Um, I guess I could buy them as chicks or as eggs and hatch them out. But I just, I don't know if I'm going to get different variants. I'd like to. So um, I might visit a couple websites and see if I can get some eggs that um, are just different colors of quail. Uh, just to mix it up a little bit. You know, I have a couple Coturnix that have, the males have really nice uh, red chest and they just have a nice chin strap, a nice white chin strap, and they look really good. Um, I can't really see one of them. There's one of them now. Let's see if I can grab them. They're not happy and they're, come here, buddy. Well, this isn't the best looking one, but this is a, this is a good looking male. Um, he has this nice red and bronze uh, copper whatever color oh yeah i know okay let me get your wings i know um it has a nice white neck and a little chin strap there um just a really good looking bird i know i'm talking to you yeah here i am talking to the birds again buddy. And so yeah that's the plan for the quail this year get their water system back up fix the leaks um i'd like to hatch out some more gotta get a good recipe for them and maybe get some different color variants of coturnix if you have a color that you really like or a different variety like tex a and m or silver or whatever kinds of quail that are coturnix um, let me know down in the comment section below and we can chit chat about that um, if you did enjoy the video make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe for more videos like this about homesteading and yeah you can follow me down on my social links that are down in the description below and that's going to be it for this one. It's starting to rain or drizzle or whatever, and my camera's getting wet. And so I'm going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys again so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.